What's going on? It's your boy, SP. All right, so in this vlog, this is something that I've spoken about in many lives in different shorts that I've done, but I haven't given it its own vlog. So I was like, yo, we have to talk about this. Also, because I wanted to expound on some things when I seen um, different comments in the lives to really clarify what I mean by this. And what we are talking about is use Amazon, use all of these companies out here, not just Amazon, whatever company you work for, use them. Now, hold on. <laughs> I know that sounds bad. I do not mean that in a bad way. What I mean is use them, take advantage, capitalize off of the situation, off of the opportunity that you have with your company. And the reason why I say that is because these jobs is finna capitalize off you. They're going to take advantage of you. They are going to make sure they get the workload out of you. They're going to make sure you hit them rates. It's been so many times where I've seen people with Amazon or different companies, even sometimes in good positions, they get into those positions. They're with the company for a nice amount of time. Something happens. You feel me? They are UPT ninja. <laughs> the hours in went negative out of nowhere. It wasn't planned. And then they lose their job. And if you really look at the situation, they're almost right back at square one from when they started the job. So that's why I always try to encourage people, use these jobs, use these companies, take advantage, capitalize off the situation. So if you ever leave the company, at least you're leaving better off than what you came with, than what you started with. You would think, I mean, that's just the American way that makes sense. But how many times you can look at people that you've seen start at your job, whether it's Amazon or anywhere, how many times people have started that job at this point, been there 12 years, and then something happens. And then when they leave the job, they're low key at that same point. One of the examples that I gave for myself, which I want to clarify or add on to is like with me when it came to having a house. Um, but this can be in so many different ways. Let's say you come in and you start a job with bad credit. Use that job to get your credit on point. So if you leave, all right, bet, at least you got your credit on point and you can use that to now get you a car, get you other things. Let's say you don't have a place to stay. It don't have to be a house. Use that job to get you in position to get you into an apartment. Let's say you don't have a car. Use the job to get you into a position to get a car. The same way that these companies have terms of agreement. Ain't it funny? It's only terms for them. <laughs> you gonna show up this day and this day. I'm gonna pay you this much and this much. It's only terms for them. <laughs> so what I'm saying is we need our own terms. <laughs> I mean, you need to go into your job. Yeah, yeah, I bet. I agree to your terms. All right, cool, bet. Now, here's my terms. You ain't gotta show it to them because they ain't gonna sign it. <laughs> Uncle Jeff, here's my terms. I need a house in two years. I need a new Ferrari. I don't like a Ferrari, but uh, a H1 Hummer. Uncle Jeff, I'm gonna need that in three years. Go ahead and sign right there. They're gonna laugh at you, but <laughs> it would probably be worth a try <laughs> but what i'm talking about is your own terms of agreement you know what goals all right i need to take care of this in the next six months i need to take care of this boom 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 i want to get this you got your needs you got your wants you got your must-haves you put them in columns the things that you need quickly the the, the most important things down to the uh, that could wait type thing that's your terms of agreement then what do you do then you decide how much finances you want to take out of your check all right you know what? i'm gonna take 10 percent out of my check What's up, Marsh? <laughs> I promise you the dog was chilling the whole time. As soon as I want to start talking, he said, oh, I bet it's my time to shine. What's up, Marshy? <laughs> he does this every time. And like I said, that sounds like common sense. I think that, that is common sense, but it's life. You know what I mean? We get so caught up in the moment. People start getting extra finances in. They start just blowing it. I'll be going to the movies on buying clothes. That stuff is life. But I'm just saying, let's take advantage of these opportunities that we have, especially if you work for a company like Amazon, because one of the biggest benefits that I think that you get from working at Amazon for most buildings, you have the opportunity for overtime. So be sure to take advantage. But hold up. <laughs> you feel me? Here's, a, here's something that I wanted to expound on. Every time that I've said this in a live or the little times that it was posted in a short, a lot of people's like, bet, you know what I mean? Yeah, I need to give me a car. Yeah, I need to give me this. Now, listen, I think one of the main things you should try to add to that list to take advantage of your company, whether it be Amazon or wherever you work, you want to take advantage by trying to create 
other streams of income. And let me tell you why that's so important. Because if you go into a job, you want to take advantage, you're working all this overtime because you need to pay off debt. You're working overtime so you can build up your credit. Boom, you got your credit right. Bet. Now you done saved up a nice lump sum. You got you a new car. You flossing. You pulling up to Prime Day with your music loud, trying to stunt on the PA. Shout out to them who tried to use to stunt on me in the parking lot. <laughs> parking lot stunt at Amazon. Yes, it's a thing. Anyways, you feel me? You get you a new car. All of a sudden, you st- your credit's right. You on point with your payments for your car. So you like, you know what? I'm going I'm to keep following SB advice. I'm going to keep stacking my money. Uh, it's time for an apartment. You get into a new apartment. Bet. Cool. You just crossing stuff off your list. But this is why I say, let's not just start accumulating things. I definitely encourage using these companies and using the extra finances to try to find a way to get more streams of income. Because if you don't do that, you low key, I don't want to say put yourself in a worse position, but now you really need that job. One of the main reasons why I was like, yo, I need other streams of income ASAP was because one of the biggest things I crossed off my list, the house. I did not like the way that it felt once I first day coming into the new home, blown away dream right it's an absolute dream brand new new build home four bedrooms blown away can't believe it let's go put my pa vest on i'm ready to change the afe too <laughs> but when i went to work and you know what i mean it's just like oh need you to do this or it's like it felt different it's like oh i have to do things now because this is my whole life stream income. If I lose this stream of income, there's a possibility that can mess with my living situation. So immediately I was like, um, I need more streams of income because that can't be the case. So that's why I encourage you take advantage of your job. But one of the first things, if you can try to create other streams of income, because if you get a new car, you get a new apartment. Guess what that means? That means more overhead. That means more bills. So yes, it's great to strive for a new house. It's great to strive for a new apartment. It's great to strive for a new car because you may need those things, but you don't want to be in a worse position that now you need your job more than ever. And this is something that I've talked about with a gang of employees, especially when I was a PA. Me being on the floor, being so hands-on with the associates, I've seen so much talent, so much gold, so much treasure in people. What do I mean? There was people who was out there doing eyelashes, people who was out there doing nails, people who was out there doing hair, people who was out there barbers. And I would always encourage them, (laughs) why is you blowing your money on Jordans? Why is you blowing your money on new clothes every week? Why are you blowing your money? You know what I mean? Because they would follow me on Instagram or something. I'm just seeing just money just being spent all over the place. Bet, do your thing. I'm not here to try to tell you how to spend your money. But if you're doing hair and you're bouncing between barbershops, why don't you start to build your own clientele here? You got 30 pack walls filled with humans. Do any of them know you cut hair? People can create their own clientele in the workplace now hold on you got to be careful with that don't be passing out you feel me flyers putting flyers on cars you know what i mean you have to be strategic with it and you can't be out here what's that called not panhandling um what's it called there's a word for it it's gonna no soliciting i think that's what it is can't be soliciting at work but if you already talk to a lot of people it's no harm it's like oh yeah you know i, I cut hair oh why you cut hair yeah you know what i mean follow my Insta- make an instagram for it now you got people at work hitting you up oh man i need to get my hair cut my barber you know what i mean he's all booked up hey man you think you could cut me yeah bet Shh, pull up to the house i'll cut you in the garage well however you do it you can do it in utilize that to create another stream of income take advantage of the job use them because they gonna use you and here's another side that you may not look at you may be like oh he talking about use jobs i don't know (laughs) you know how much the jobs these companies uses its employees and capitalizes off of it think about this let's use amazon for an example one of the things i've talked about when you're moving up that ladder one of the main things that's going to move you quick creating projects do you know (laughs) how many employees First off, how many employees are trying to move up in Amazon, right? How many employees created different projects for this company that were innovative, that were game changers? And guess what? They might have gotten a promotion. Hopefully, we heard my story. They might have gotten a promotion. Let's say they did. That's what's up. But how much Amazon just got a new innovative idea? Here's the blueprint, Amazon. I just want a promotion. Here's how I did it. Here's this. This is going to save us hundreds of thousands of dollars monthly. Thank you, great employee. (laughs) you get 10 extra stocks (laughs) and a new level keep it up and don't forget continue to create more projects no i'm just playing 
But when you look at the big picture of that, that one person created a project and then left to the next one, right? Do you know how many times, not just Amazon, all these companies have had employees who create something great for their um, their company and the company actually uses it and they roll it out to the network? Do you know how much money they have saved and how much did it cost them? <laughs> Free. <laughs> I mean, F R E E. It didn't cost them nada, nothing. They capitalized off of that situation, and especially at Amazon. Do you know how many people create innovative ideas at that company? And it's not like you can submit your project. Oh, and depending on how much you save, you know, we can cut you a percentage of how much money we save. <laughs> no, we can probably get you an interview slot. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's their company. Do what they do. But I'm just trying to show you the light, especially at a company at Amazon. I work there. This is just my experience. I am not a representative of the company and I'm not a spokesman. But ask anybody who works there on how many people create different ideas throughout this broad network to make the process easier. How many times it works, they get that idea, then roll it out to the network. How much money? Money that saves that is taking advantage capitalizing off of the employee i'm not saying that's wrong i'm not saying it's right <laughs> you want to move up you got to do what you got to do but i'm just showing light on that how they capitalize off of us so listen let's capitalize off of these companies and i'm not saying let's steal from the company i'm not i'm saying like yo let's just use our money right let's use our time right let's use our resources right to benefit our own lives i'm not even saying nothing illegal nothing like that but utilize your company utilize your job to benefit the quality of life that you have and one of the reasons why i put so much emphasis on that right there is because this is one of the scariest craziest things but the people that come up with these crazy, I mean, I know people personally who came up with some dope ideas, super creative, even certain people that it caused me to just sit back and be like, yo, <laughs> and really look at them different. Like, yo, you, you're a beast. You feel me? Like, what are you doing as a tier one, a tier three? And one of the things I always did was like, yo, are you applying this to your life some type of way? I'm not saying this project because most projects you can't you know what I mean, use for your life is logistics for this company. But the creative thought, the creative process that a person has to have to innovate something over here, you most likely can have and use that same creative process to innovate stuff in your own life. And you want to know what most of the craziest, dopest, amazing ideas when I spoke to those people nada you feel me nothing outside of the workplace this is the scariest thing i tell people yo take advantage of the job the people who it seems like benefit the company the most they don't even apply that same work ethic to their own life think about this right and this is a trip when i looked at that i'm like yo this don't even make sense you feel me it, it really caused me just to sit back and be quiet <laughs> that's why i really you know i see people now I don't even talk like this. I used to talk like this a lot at work to people that had the potential. Now, I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just real. I I backed away a lot. <laughs> Look at Je Uncle Jeff watching this like, whew. All right, all right, guy. Hey, pull the agents back. Pull the agents back. He, he's good. <laughs> yeah. But I want to encourage you, do not be like this. Even if you're not taking, you know, getting the best and the most out of your company for your own personal life, don't be this person, okay? Don't be the one who's killing it at work and not utilizing it at all in your personal life. Check this out. Like with Amazon, right? We have principles. <laughs> it's crazy. People who are moving up in the company, they're like robots when it comes to these principles. I kid you not. You can go walk up to your manager and be like, hey, what's Amazon's principles? They'll snap like that. They may be like, hey, um, think hard, um, think big, um, <laughs> leaders are always right, disagree and commit. Like literally, they'll low key like snap in to the Amazon spirit that I ain't got. I ain't got that spirit. You feel me? But they tap into it as low key scary. But this is the thing. <sighs> They will kill every project. They will excel numbers through the roof, but they will not apply it to their own lives. I'm going to show you some principles right now. Let's talk about this. Like, let's really look at this. <laughs> what you see behind me is the Amazon's principle. So let's, let's just think about this. So one of the principles are, what is it? Insist in the highest standard. 
<laughs> go up to any salary or somebody shooting to climb up that ladder. They'll tell you stories about how they've insisted to have the highest standard. But one of the things you won't see is them having insisting to have the highest standard in their own personal life. <laughs> how you got the highest standard for this company in the, in, in the standard you have in your own life is low. <laughs> I mean, just enough to make it to tomorrow. Matter of fact, nine o'clock tonight, and when your check hit, <sighs> y'all see what I'm saying? Oh no? Okay, well let's do let's talk a little more then. Another one of the principles is this right here, and this is one that I used to love. Think big. <laughs> it sounds great. Go tell it to anybody in salary, they'll have nine stories ready. Yeah, there was just one time I brought this to that, to this percentage, to that percentage, bra, 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 and I did all that by thinking big. Right, they'll paint a Picasso, sign it at the end and everything. But <laughs> be like, okay, dope. Now, how do you apply that to your own life outside of work? They'll be like, well, what, what do you mean? Give me some stories about how you put think big in your own life outside of work. <laughs> they'd be like, I can't. <laughs> Yo, they don't think big outside of the job at all. They got 30 projects for the job. You feel me? No projects in life. Now, here's a scary one. Shout out to Amazon. Tell me, shout out to the principals. And that's the thing is like when everything that they use with their principles and stuff, I think is dope. But I've always thought I need to implement this in my life automatically. Like I told you guys, the first thing I seen in Amazon was work hard, have fun, make history. I said, yo, that is crazy. And I know it sounds so simple when you really think about that. If you do work hard and if you make your work fun and your goal is to make history, that is just crazy. But I said, okay, bet. I see that. But forget Amazon. I'm using that for my life. And I thought about all these principles the same way, but most don't. So here's a scary one right here. One of the principles, this is scary. When I first heard this, I was like, nah, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Customer obsession. I don't even like that word. You know I mean, obsession is crazy. Obsession causes people to do crazy stuff, to do stuff that they don't usually do. Have you seen somebody obsessed over a person? What usually comes along with that? Um, restraining orders, jail time, a gang of stuff that I don't want nothing to do with. <laughs> so when I heard that principle, hey, shout out to the Zion, you feel me? Shout out to the principles. But when I heard that one, that was one of the ones that made me sit back and was like, Mm. <laughs> I'm not obsessing over nothing. You feel me for this job? No. But you will have people who be like, yo, customer obsession. And they low key be doing the most, right? But have no obsession of anything in their life. They'll be obsessed over an Amazon customer and not obsessed with a family member. Obsessed with a package getting sent out on time, but not obsessed with their own health. And their health could even be at risk. But they'll put their health risk aside. <laughs> they be like, yeah, the doctor said I probably got like two months to live. But I'm going to make sure this package get out on time. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to stop there. Y'all know I could keep going. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> another principle. Look, here's another one. Strive. Wait, wait, hold on. What is it? Be Earth's best employer. <laughs> Sounds great, right? It is great. These are some great things. This is some great stuff. But, you feel me, they will strive to be Earth's best employer for this company, but won't strive to be the best them that they can be for Earth. <laughs> How about we strive for that first? How about we strive to be the best us that we can be for Earth? Because if you do that, then you'll be the best you anywhere that you go. But you know what? People will strive to be the best employer for this company over here, then get off work and not strive for anything they won't think big of anything of their life they won't insist on the highest standards at all for their life they'll do it for the company though when it's time to clock in not in their life though they gonna think big for the for their shift and for the company not in their life though i can literally do a whole video on just going through that but i'ma stop <laughs> this video was probably already a little rough around the edges but this is low-key reality listen i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with them principles <sighs> They the biggest employer on earth almost. So they doing their thing. Shout out to Uncle Jeff. But I'm just saying, people, listen, let's not forget about, um, I don't know, ourselves. You feel me? Our life. This is still our life. One thing I don't like about all these companies, they merging this too much. It's too much of merging. Listen, it's work and it's life. 
And that's one thing I don't like about how there's so much mix in between what's going on outside of work and inside. I don't like how that mixes because because that's the result. You get people who their identity is now a part of their company. Their identity is who they are at the company. And that's scary. Anyways, this video was longer than it was supposed to be, but <laughs> you feel me? I'm sure you found this beneficial. If not, all I'm trying to say is, listen, if you work for Amazon, dope company. Whatever company you at, I'm sure it's a dope company. But take advantage of the company. I'm not saying in a bad way, a legal way. I'm just saying um, capitalize off of your company to implement it in your own life to raise the quality of living in your life. Yes, let's strive to be the best employee that we can be, but not at the cost of us as a person. Or let's not forget to be the best person we can be outside of work as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. Yes, we also go live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Be sure to tune in. Also, yes, I'm an artist. I go by the name of SB. Drop some new music lately. Um, I have a project called Dreams and Motivation that is on iTunes, Spotify, all those online distributions. Link will be in the description. Go ahead, check it out. Go support, run up the streams, buy it on um, iTunes, all that good stuff. Other than that, I'm gonna catch you on the next video. It's your boy, yes, big. Let's go. I'm on my grind. 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 I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind.